get him off the field. Doesn't have to be right away, but they got to keep him from scoring right out of the shoot. Williams looks at that uh, three-man front and gets it out. Ball control. All right, Williams and company go to work quickly, and the handoff and breaking through on yards. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, this guy's a load. <laughs> They're gonna, and they'll probably see him a bunch, especially if they can get up early. Same play as early. All right, right back to Pegues and with three plays and just marching it down the fish screen. Williams handing it and Temple slams inside. He runs the prevent unit right now, looking to make stops here. Now Lenny Williams wants to keep it himself, and he was slowed up there. Run. Sear. Williams handing it up, down and four for the Crimson Hawks. The geese in motion, and Williams again. Hands to Temple, and Temple is stuffing the charge. I tell you what, he's looking inside. He's looking for somewhere to go, but there's absolutely no. IUP going for it. High snap, and Williams. It's a first down. I tell you what, he looks more like a fullback there. That doesn't look like how a quarterback would typically. Lost yardage, so uh, he had to redeem himself in this game. Here's the handoff once again. It's Temple working the left-hand side of the line, and he goes in touchdowns in a game against Edinburgh this season. Pegues again goes in motion, and Williams. Williams sets up, looking, and out of the end zone. Clinton and his crew making history here today, all right? Williams going to keep it, and Lenny Williams looking for real estate. Williams up top yes, with it. Sir. Got a man, and out of Maryland. I think a lot of people would probably like to call that pass interference, but I think he just stepped out position, and they're tied in. Kevin Edwards will lead the game. Another high snap. Williams, though, retrieves it, gets it, and Williams will get and hurt you. Absolutely. And it looks almost like this was a design play, even though the snap was high. He got a he got a lead block and then he's just out. And and he's gonna be he's gonna be a guy they're gonna have to stop if they're gonna win this game. See there's your lead blocker right there. Got a great block. Good play. Fresh set of downs and they go back to work with Temple and sliding his way through traffic and inside the 25 down to the 23 first down as the football goes inside the 20. Williams turns hands it off and nice tackle around the ankles made there by UC as Malcolm Cater comes through and takes him down Cater second on the team in tackles 69 out of New Jersey has one interception and a quick pass here to add to this three nothing lead. Williams gets the snap, and Williams carves his. Keem Stallings, James King tripped him yeah, they're, up. They're, they're just looking for him to find space in there. He, he's able to get them. and the Crimson Hawks. And a bad snap, and Williams. Let's see. Yeah, it, it hit him right in the chest. I just think he just bobbled it. Games this season was the second team. All PSAC performer last year, and here he shows why in the opening to midfield. Mr. Brins have been kind of banged up this season. This wasn't, this doesn't even look like it was a read. This was like a, just a complete, it was just a handoff, straight dive, and he was able to break it. He rushed for 846 yards a year ago. Has played in just six this season. Yeah, they just let they're just blocking him hat on hat and letting him run. Two receivers to each side and Lister Brenza straight ahead. So on the ball quickly. Pass out on the near side and nice hand. Lister Brenza wanted to go right, cuts back left. And here we go. Same same type of play. He's trying to just cut it back against the green and it's not able to. Williams shoots it out quickly and 
Williams on first down. Fires and a great, great catch, catch is made. This is going to look like a Chris Carter one-handed kind of catch. He puts his hand out there and just pulls it in. On the near side as a wing for IUP. And here is the handoff and losing the football out of bounds. That's where we stand. Mr. Brenza in motion. And Williams will fake the handoff and good read there. Seven tackles this season for a loss. One there. And here's pass out. And Great once again. Tackle. Yep. They're get, he gets the ball. He read it all the way and made a. And, and Jr. Played at the University of Cincinnati. Reggie Armstead at WVU. And back in the game. You know, a lot of guys go through coaching changes. Right. But when it's your father, that's something else. And. Uh, he uh, started a magnificent career. And here's a pick by UC as Williams fired it up there. And you like he may have just let that fly on him. He's kind of scrambling. I think it just sails on him, goes over the head. Easy pick for the DB. And you see first day out in there at WVU before taking over the head coach as the head coach of the Mountaineers and back. Second down, Williams. Again, Lista Brinza and Lista Brinza finds an opening. And three man front for UC, and here is Temple. Slams the next weekend on the road to Kansas City, and Williams. And ball the bouncing game. around and bounces right into his hands, but he is going to go down and lose yardage. I don't think I've seen anybody bobble the ball as much as this team has bobbled it. He did. I don't even think that he hit the running back. I just think after he came off the fake, he just started bobbling. It. We're very fortunate there. Yes. Gonna... Third down and long, and here is Temple off the left-hand side, and Temple. Williams will keep, and Williams will spin around and take the football. Williams turns and hands it off, and IUP wants to move quickly. Yep. And here is Williams, and he'll keep it, and Williams will fight. The WPIAL's all-time career passing leader threw for over 8,000 yards in high school. This time, though, he's set, keeps his cool all the time, doesn't get shaken, doesn't get rattled. This time he will turn and hand it off to Temple. And Temple, off game here at University Charleston Stadium in Charleston, West Virginia, and here is Williams firing it and intended a little bit earlier. Let's see if we can find that on the replay. I don't know. Make a break here. You see with the blitz. Williams in trouble, and Williams going to take off with it. He's got a chance. And finally, three receivers to the top of your screen for Williams. And Williams wants to keep it again. And he can do here as IUP tries to take advantage of the turnover and back they go to Temple and te two receivers to each side for Williams. On a one step drop and launches it out for IUP. Williams will keep. And Williams, the chance to be the head coach. And right now his team trying to fight back in it here and Temple gets the handoff and Temple. This is a coach. He took over Pitt after Jackie Sherrill. And here's Williams into the opening. And Williams down his eight-point advantage. Williams hands to Temple. And Temple to the. Get a break there on the penalty. Williams fakes it. Williams straight up the middle and driven. It looks like it's man-to-man. -man. Nobody in the middle. Empty backfield. Edwards in motion. And Williams will go straight ahead. Frank Jr., the offensive coordinator for the St. Louis Rams. And here is Pagese and You see had great pursuit here. It's the first time we've seen this play, them trying to get out wide. I think you see was just two and four of the Golden Eagles. Lenny Williams finds Pagese. Pagese to the 40 at the 40. Pagese goes in motion. Williams turns, hands it off, and here is Temple, and Temple is bottled. IUP in business here. Trying to edge closer, and the handoff to Temple, and Temple will 
grind his way to the goal and they line up. Official falls down. Williams fights his way in. The ball is loose. Oh. All it has to do is just break the plane. Well, the umpire went tumbling down. Scott Ray, he hopped right back up and yeah, he had broke. He had broken the plane. He just pulled it out of his hands at that point. And see what Kurt Signetti and his coaching staff elect to do here at the moment. You see the offensive unit on the field. Williams fakes it to Temple and throws an incomplete. One to the top. Temple in the backfield. Williams fakes to Temple and Williams into the opportunity to play here today. It was very doubtful when we talked to Pat Kirkland earlier in the week. And because I never thought I'd be back. All right, big third down here. Williams. Gets away for the defenders and gets the first down. He is tough to stop. Yeah, he, he's he's a great athlete. He's really a running back that happens to be able to throw and is playing quarterback. And he's going to have him for a long time. Pagis in motion. IUP on the move and trying to retake the lead across the middle. And the catch is made. Outstanding oh. grab by McVay, and he will <laughs> score to meet the Shepherd Rams next weekend. Got to run through that tackle. Just have to. And McVay talked about it earlier. They all played here. It's, of course, a much different looking facility than back in the day. Williams rifles it out. Five point advantage. And it's Temple and Temple. So Williams. And Temple twisting IUP football history. Another heavy dose of Temple and Temple. You can definitely tell that the tone has changed for IUP. They want to pound it now, chew that. He switches sides, gets the handoff, and up the middle goes Temple and Temple. First and 10. Williams. Keeps it. Williams up oh. the middle, and boy, he sacked history to rush for a thousand in the season. Did it last week, but took that sack. But here he is on the move and into UC territory. I don't think I don't think that hard hit <laughs> didn't, didn't, phased him. <laughs> didn't phase him at all. He's still running. 1918 in the first down department. Now back to Temple they go and Temple. First four-year numbers as far as wins and losses go and good job there by third down here and five Williams he will keep it and Williams fights Race and fights man. but we're going to uh, forcing them in to have to kick field goals and Lenny Williams and company they have other ideas and Williams loses the football and then gets and away and Williams to the 10 five and then driven out of bounds the lick on an outstanding quarterback as Williams made what looked like disaster into another first down. <laughs> he may want to stay on the ground after that. <laughs> John Knox will help you any way I can, coach. And here is Temple and Temple bottled two receivers. Bottom of the screen, Williams, touchdown IUP. Good block ahead of him. And just again, just good, just good power. And now Williams will go to Temple. All the way down. Temple up the middle. Temple breaks a tackle. Temple inside the 10 and Temple. We're talking about a kid 5'11", 220, just pounding you all day long. UP trying to cash in. Temple gets the handoff and Temple is into the chance to win. You kind of just don't play quite as hard. You just feel like just a little over four remaining in this game and IUP leading it. And here is the handoff new back into the game for the Crimson Hawks. Again, IUP so used to postseason play did not make it a year ago. Jackson went 
one way now goes the other and here's Jackson showing his ability looking on his father won 182 games there he's about to win his 43rd looking at the school Williams going to fake the handoff and Williams makes a move and puts the hand down and Williams will spin his way into the end zone that's a great football play right, right there but again this is a tough situation for a defense to be in. Yeah, you can touch down. 